Loved ones were killed or injured after a police pursuit in the south suburbs. WGN's Dana Rebeck is live in Dalton with the story. Dana? Well, attorneys here are calling this the largest police misconduct verdict in Illinois history. Families of these two men who were uh, both killed and injured are speaking out today after waiting years for the justice they were seeking. I miss John so much. Um, no amount of money could bring him back. It's been nearly six years since Aja Seat's brother John Kyles died after a police pursuit in Dalton ended in a crash. Kyles and Dwayne Dunlap were passengers in a vehicle and both ejected. Dalton officers started the chase in the early morning hours of October 9th, 2016, after the driver of the car they were in blew through a stop sign. Uh, the response of the Dalton Police Department uh, to that missed stop sign was to execute a high speed uh, police pursuit, speeds exceeding 80 miles per hour, passing through multiple stop signs, ultimately driving and forcing uh, this car driven by this young man uh, into uh, a dead end alley uh, where uh, the driver of the car lost control of the vehicle. The victim's families filed a lawsuit against the village of Dalton, and after a week-long trial, a jury awarded them $33.5 million, finding police failed to exercise due care and weigh the inherent danger created by the pursuit. The lawsuit also showed the officers involved disobeyed a direct command to abandon the chase and failed to notify dispatchers of a reason for the pursuit. I'm very happy and grateful for the justice that we did receive from my son, but it's not going to make them well, but it'll make us a have, have them a comfortable life. Dwayne Dunlap's mother says her son suffered a traumatic brain injury and will need ongoing care throughout his life. This is a, a deeply unfortunate uh, tragedy, and we are hopeful that this sends a signal about the way law enforcement operates not only throughout Illinois, but in particularly in communities of color. We did reach out to the village of Dalton and a spokesman says the judgment against the village of Dalton is the result of unfortunate events that took place under the previous administration. Worsening the impact of this tragedy, the Dalton Board of Trustees chose to walk out of a recent meeting instead of appropriately considering a previous settlement offer from the defendant's counsel that would have saved the taxpayers of Dalton millions of dollars. Uh, this $33 million uh, settlement will be split. Uh, 10 million of it will be going to the family of of John Kyle's uh, 23 million to Dwayne Dunlap's family. Coming up at six o'clock, the attorneys today also spoke about what they feel is a disproportionate number of police pursuits that are taking place in Dalton. You'll hear about that coming up next hour. For now, live in Fulton Market, Dana Rebick, WGN News. Okay, thank you, Dana. Got some breaking news in the